right, folks. I'm Jeff. And I'm John. And we, we are, are the J&J &J 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 show. show. And we're here at ETI, and this is uh, the company spotlight. So there's actually a reception going on all around us, and we hope everybody can hear us. And we're right here with Mike Rose. Hey, how's it going, everybody? And so this is so neat. Y'all have like little tables set up showing the different products. And of course, this is ATEC. Y'all know ATEC sponsors me and uh, supplies the tools. And uh, we're going to be getting a whole line of tools to be able to start showing some more videos. Yeah, Jeff, we always love supporting you. And the information that you provided the industry is very critical for people to understand what's going on. So ATEC provides TPMS diagnostic tools. And we're going to provide you with some tools and understanding so we can get the information out to those in the market so they can understand what they're up against and what information they need to be able to correctly service TPMS. That's why I love these folks. We've been uh, working with them for years and years. And behind you, you actually got all the way from the, the basic quick set on up. But we're out here with tools, technology, and training at ETI. And one of the buzz spots that they were talking about is some of the the new uh, Bluetooth and the new technology that where they put this uh, like a chip in the tire and guess what y'all have the tool the VT67 that will actually pick up all that yeah so as you've been around long enough Jeff vehicles change technology changes so one of the things that's changing in the world of TPMS is the introduction of Bluetooth or BLE TPMS sensors Along with that is the introduction of RFID chips that are being stored within the tires. So these new technologies will continue to emerge over the coming years based on how OEs are going to integrate them. And we have the technology already introduced to be able to handle that as it comes out and make sure that the technicians are ahead of the curve and have the things in their hands before it even hits their shop. Because everybody loves Michelin tires, and Michelin's one of the first ones to start using the chip. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, being here at ETI, the overall benefit is hearing what these OEs are going to do and how they're going to integrate that technology from Michelin and others as it goes along. And the ties that we have with the OEs to bring that to our aftermarket equipment is beneficial for the entire market. A lot of folks don't know, you all actually work with a lot of the OEs. And so you have commercial size equipment at the OEs. As the tires come down, they read those and know exactly what vehicle it goes on. So then when it gets back to the aftermarket and it gets to our shop, the same technology that helped install those is actually the same technology that we Absolutely, can Absolutely, Jeff. ATEC does everything from the manufacturing at wheel and tire assembly to vehicle assembly to engineering all the way out to OE dealerships and to the aftermarket providing solutions for the entire chain. This particular tool is also multi-language. Absolutely. ATEC prides himself on all of our tools being multi-language because not only do we supply tools here to the North American market, we supply tools globally. And it's important that no matter where this tool ends up that the database and language can support that region. Because it's not just English, Spanish, and French. There's probably, we saw the list, and there's probably at least 20 or so languages on here. There's almost nowhere in the world that this tool can't be supported by language and database region. And now if you have an update, again, it doesn't matter where this tool is because you all update wireless. Absolutely. <clears throat> and when we talk about wireless updates, this thing is fast. Absolutely. It's incredibly fast. The new Android-based platforms allow us for a quicker update. Wi-Fi connectivity, not just for updates, but some of the future technology that's going into this is cloud-based for you to be able to access your service data no matter where you're at. So, so now you, as you start looking into multi-chain, multi-location, the manager or shop owner can see what's going on at each of their locations and tracking who's successful and who's not in the world of TPMS. And the, the, the thing is just packed full of uh, all the different deals. And, of course, this will take the uh, shred wear. The tread dip indicator. This is stuff you have at your shop. Yeah. I've seen you play with it. Yeah, and you come in and you, 
<laughs> Oscar came in, and I had to make sure it was still in my shop when yeah, he left. Yeah, because he wanted to take it up back to California with him. Are you jealous, John? I'm 100% jealous, brother. No. This guy's got the coolest tools in his shop, and they're all from you, dude. It, it blows me away. Yeah, well, you got to get on board. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff knows what's going on. So it just is, is so fast. It's an Android system. It's touchscreen. And, of course, it'll take the connections on the back. Yep. And then also in the cases where you need to plug it into the vehicle to... Uh, for the OBD connection, it'll support that as well. It's and not just that. for relearns, but for diagnostic trouble codes. And additionally, as you can see here on the home screen, we have an upgrade available to support commercial vehicles because TPMS is coming for commercial vehicles. That's and right up my alley, commercial uh, vehicles. And not duty. just TPMS, but RFID as well. And that's where you'll start seeing that technology hit the market first. So we're out ahead of it. We're providing the information necessary, and we're providing the platforms necessary to make sure that the aftermarket can be successful in all aspects of TPMS. And you're showing up at the events with the OEs to make sure you continue their Oh, that communication between the OEs and the aftermarket is critical for our success and everybody's success. We're very proud to be members of ETI. This event is great. As you've seen, Jeff, the amount of information that we're getting in these seminars is overwhelming. Yeah. To, to digest where we're going and what's going on and to listen to these panels and the information that we get is so critical. And, you know, I look forward to where the next 10 years is going to be. Oh, my gosh. I think we've is. seen where the next 10 years is going to be this morning in that deal. I, they brought out four crystal balls, and I've seen some of your stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, things change. And it's important to understand, and as you said, Jeff, because we're in the manufacturing and engineering side, we're seeing these changes years or months ahead of the aftermarket and able to apply that into our equipment and tools and technology. So if you're looking for a quality or a basic TPMS tool, be sure and check out ATEC. This is the top of the line, and they got the ones just the all the way. The coolest stuff. On the market. The hottest stuff right here. Stuff that Things works. Things that people can use. That's right. And when they use them and they're that easy, what do I always say, Jeff? Cha-ching, Cha -ching, baby. baby. I love making that thing make a sound. <laughs> As always, we appreciate you watching.